Barcades are on the rise and you may have this monstrosity of a machine in an arcade or bar near you. This is Killer Queen and we'll be breaking down exactly how to play the greatest arcade game ever made. Killer Queen is a fast-paced 5 vs. 5 arcade game. That's right, you heard me. Five players on one cabinet play against five players on a second cabinet to go head-to-head -head in a fight for glory. Teams face off in a battle royale to see who can complete one of three objectives first. Let's go ahead and break down the gameplay that you're seeing now. The cabinets themselves have five joysticks and five buttons. Four of the joysticks control a drone. One of the joysticks controls the coveted queen. We'll talk about her in a little bit. You can join the game by tapping your button once the queen on each team starts the game. These are the hives. This is where you start the game and where you respawn if you die. If you're on the gold team, you start over here. Blue team, right here. As a player controlling one of the drones, you can help your team win the game by trying to complete one of the three objectives. The first way to win is by collecting berries scattered around the map. The little pink spheres, those are berries. Drones love berries. Collect a berry by running over a berry pile, and the drone will instantly start carrying it on their back. Climb the platforms and put that berry in the hive by jumping into one of the open holes to get one step closer to winning the game. Fill your hive before the other team does, and you'll win with an economic victory. The second way to win is by riding a snail, seen here at the bottom of the screen. Winning this way is similar to a tug of war, with drones pulling the snail back and forth, trying to get her into the goal. Drones can ride the snail by running into it and they'll instantly saddle up. Careful though, because if the other team is controlling the snail, you could become someone's supper instead. Get the snail all the way to your side and into your goal before the other team does, and you'll win with a snail victory. Now it's time to talk about the queen. The queen is the third and final way to win the game. She flies around and attacks other players by bopping them on the head. Unlike the drones, she can tap the button faster to fly through the air. The queens sway the game one way or the other by controlling areas of the map and killing off enemy drones. However, the queen herself is not invulnerable. She can be killed from above by the other queen. And if you're able to kill the enemy queen three times, you'll win with a military victory. Drones can help the queen win a military victory by becoming a warrior. Warriors gain wings and a sword and can tap their button faster to fly around and kill enemy drones or the opposing queen. Careful becoming a warrior though, because they can't pick up berries or ride the snail anymore. Drones become warriors by taking a berry to one of these warrior gates. Stand still in front of a gate and you'll use your berry to transform. Keep in mind that the gate you're using has to either be neutral or controlled by your team. Queens can change the color of the gates to their team's color by flying over them. Be sure to ask your queen nicely if your team doesn't control any gates and you're hoping to gain your wings. Also, keep an eye out for gates that look like this. If you take a berry to one of these gates, you'll gain the speed power-up, making you move ultra fast. That includes moving the snail faster if you hop on it, or flying through the air faster if you become a warrior. Now you know how to play Killer Queen. Check your local arcade or bar for the greatest arcade game ever known, and I'll see you on the cabinets.